Hey everyone, Nukin here, and welcome back again to my channel. Today is a good day. It's Monday. It's Territory Battles, and this is the second release. So they changed it to a Monday now. From first it was a Wednesday, then it was Thursday, and now it's Monday. So we'll see if that sticks around. Um, quick shout out to my guild, Team Skunk Republic. We are moving up in the world, now rank 7th in total GP, so pretty cool. So let's hop right in. I've been gearing up a resistance team and messing around with it over the weekend in GW. So first, what we always do is we want to check the platoons. So let's go into there. Oh wow, they're already full. Okay, well, first world problems. Uh, let's just see what some of these platoon characters were. So we had some Jedi, some Jawa, some Rebels, and it looks like it looks like we could have donated a few things. Ooh, someone, some people donated their Gear 12 heroes, so that's interesting. I guess they won't be needing that. Make sure to not donate heroes that you're gonna actually require in the combat missions, which we're gonna jump right into now. So it looks like light side is the requirement. So let's go in and let's test out this resistance team. So I've been working on, been working on a resistance team here, 77, almost 78K power and a first order team at the same time. And this is how I have them modded. I have a ton of potency on Finn. He's up to 85% potency. And I'm not modding them for speed. I'm modding them for potency. I did get Poe up to the 220s, but he's up to 60% potency as well. And, and then I put some crit damage and crit chance sets with a bunch of high secondary potencies for trooper and pilot. He's up to 65 almost. So we're basically just putting potency primaries. And then if you look at the secondaries, we have 5% potency there. You know, another almost 6% potency secondary there, which is as high as a uh, set bonus for potency, I believe it's five or 10%. And then we got resistance pilot, same thing. Crit damage, crit chance set. Her potency is up to almost 92. Potency primary there, and same type of thing. Potency secondary, there's 2% there. Almost 7% there, that's a ton of potency. So anywhere that you can get potency, put it on there. And uh, so it's gonna either crash and burn or do really well. By crash and burning, I mean they're not gonna use any they're not gonna be landing exposes. So I think for the first round, we might not even expose, but let's just try it out. So taunt. Oh, we only got two exposes there. So you wanna make sure that you're using ba basics with the trooper. And I think you can just one shot that with some basics actually. Yeah, it looks like that was pretty easy there. All right, round two. Yeah, okay, looks like they're still pretty easy. So let's just use some, some basics here. Knock them out. All right, so this, this should be a little harder. Okay, so we're just using specials. I think you can just one shot this guy with the basic. All right, on to phase four. Got our first elite taunt up. Got some exposes. Cool. Ooh, he got one shot. Maybe this isn't the best phase to highlight the resistance. Get this guy. And then Poe gets to go again. See if you can one shot this guy right here. Nice. Going into wave five. Should be starting to get harder. So expose. 
so we only got one off. So we're forced to target that one. We just kind of want to reset the cooldowns. We don't want to kill him um, with Ray. Let's try and do... When she gets advantage up, she's going to guarantee crit on all her hits. So we're going to do the second special. Flurry of Blows. Did a lot of damage. Back to the exposed target. And now Poe gets to go again. And we can spread out the love of exposes now. Do a attack here. Another expose taunt. Go for this guy. Just swap it around, spreading out exposes to give enough time for Poe to taunt so he can do AoE expose. Looks like we're good. Still haven't been really uh, touched at all. And then the final encounter. Okay, no elites, so it should be pretty easy. Same strategy. Land some exposes. Stun this guy. All right, first AOE expose. So we're gonna spread out the exposes. With Ray, we're gonna hit someone who doesn't have expose. Let's stun someone who is not stunned yet, who also has expose. And we're forced to attack the taunt with Ray. Another AOE expose from Poe. And now we're starting to stack a lot of exposes, so pretty cool. Now, you can use the basic here. I actually like to get rid of the taunt. So I'm going to, this dispels when you Omega it. So I'm going to dispel that. So now I can hit someone else of my um, liking here. So I'm going to stun this guy and dispel that taunt as well. Okay. Back to our expose train and now this is how you guarantee that you um, can beat the battle so I'm starting to stack two exposes I'll soon have a third on these two characters and they're like my they're gonna be my backup fail safe and that's what I've been doing in GW as well um, these if, if I start to have a train of bad luck and I'm not landing exposes on these four characters, I can then go back to one of these characters that might have like three or four exposes stacked on them. Um, and I can reset all the cooldowns and get the whole cycle started again. So I'm going to leave that guy alone. And probably it's time to start killing some units, but I want to see if I can stack another expose on this guy without killing him cool all right and so we back up to like two or three exposes on these guys which is nice and it looks like we can at some point you can basically realize that it's time to just unload and you can just switch to auto or basic auto if you choose and everyone will just fall over. Two, three, four, five, six. All right. And that's kind of how I've been using resistance in GW and it looks like they do very well in territory battles. That's just a Zeta on Finn. So very awesome. And I can actually quickly highlight how it is in GW as well. Although it is probably the, the quest day. Yeah, we're supposed to hold our GW. But I'll try to simulate it um, uh, on top of that. You can use R2, but I find, found that using R2 with the Rebels is actually better. Especially under a CLS lead. Because um, Commander Luke has so much crit chance that he ends up critting so often that he's always going to cleanse himself and counterattacking with a basic stun is just really strong. Um, I didn't show Ray's mods actually. She doesn't need any potency. She's at 5%. And I gave her a lot of flat offense. So 56 there uh, and some crit chance as well as secondaries. 
There's some crit chance secondaries there. Some crit chance secondaries there. Crit damage triangle for sure. And a offense cross, so pretty good. And she doesn't need any potency because she has no exposes. And you know what? I think I should probably Omega that, maybe. But she's using her special so often, I'm going to hold off on that. And yeah, this is the OG resistance team. You can use them in the tank raid as well. Let's see if we land any exposes here. And start a train for Podigo again. Yep. So then I would probably make Jedi Counselor my my failsafe and ignore him and focus on someone else. Um, for example, Boba or whoever whoever else has exposed. And now Poe's gonna go again, and then, so this guy, whoever it is, ends up being my failsafe. With three exposes, I'm gonna gain basically full turn meter and reset all the cooldowns, because every expose is gonna decrease the cooldowns. And I'm not gonna finish this battle, because we're supposed to um, save it for tomorrow, but that's basically how you would use resistance. You save that guy for last, and if everything is starting to fall apart, you make sure you hit that expose on that target that you've been saving exposes up and you can get back into the game. All right, so I hope you got something out of this video. Resistance are really strong. I plan on doing some more videos with them and I'll see you guys next time. Good luck in territory battles. Uh, let me know how your guild's doing. And if you're interested in joining my guild, the Republic, uh, drop a comment below or Find me on Discord, links are in the description, and we'll be in touch. Cheers.